Hey guys, Grasshopper back at you with another Overwatch video. With the recent armor changes, buffs, and nerfs to the game, some heroes are coming back in strength, and the Goat's Meadow looks like it's on the way out as well. So there's two flanker-type heroes that have made a comeback and can be annoying to deal with sometimes. Those heroes are Reaper and Tracer. Since they've been out of the meta for almost a year, and then some, I thought I'd make a video to remind everyone of how you deal with them. They both are stronger against armor and have better matchups now against tanks and crowd control heroes like Brigida and D.Va. As a bonus, at the end of this video, I'll even talk about how to counter and play against a Bastion, because that hero was buffed too, and I think even Diamond Rank players could use a refresher on how to deal with one. So to start off, let's look at Reaper's buff. Reaper has about a 15% damage increase against armor health points only, but this allows him to counter tanks even more effectively than before, and he also was given a lifesteal percentage increase from 30% to 50%. So now he heals 50% of damage dealt per shot, which is really powerful. With this buff, Reaper can dual targets more easily, and there's very few close range battles he can't win quickly. If you don't focus him down, he will heal up and he'll never die. Now this all depends on how close he is to you. Stuns and range are what counter Reaper, but teamwork, as in focusing the Reaper when he comes near your teammates, is now needed to completely take him down. Even D.Va was nerfed in the last patch, so her defense matrix can't be flipped on and off quickly to eat Reaper's damage, which is a good nerf to enable his ultimate death blossom. Overall, these changes make Reaper a lot stronger this meta, where we haven't seen him since the Beyblade meta of Reaper, Lucio, and Ana's Nana Boost. It used to give you a movement increase as well. Reaper has always been effective at lower ranks because he can blow up the tanks of an enemy team when they don't group up with their teammates as much. Since Ghost was popular, however, he had a hard time fighting all that tankiness and heals. Now the buffs allow him to survive while fighting, so we have to resort to the old ways of countering him. That's range and crowd control like stuns. Sniping him at range as Widowmaker, Hanzo, McCree, or Pharaoh will kill him before he gets close. Stuns like Flashbang, Sleep Dart, Shield Bash, or Roadhog's Hook can give your team time to focus him. Even Lucio's boop is good at pushing him away from your team when he gets too close. Sombra can hack him, which stops him from escaping with Wraith Form, but she's not the strongest damage pick against him. Roadhog and Zarya are the best tanks to counter Reaper, but that's only if they use their abilities at the perfect time to soak up his damage, otherwise they are big targets that can be ripped apart by his shotguns up close. Other counters are Genji, as he can annoy the Reaper with poke damage, then finish him off with a well-timed deflect and dash. Then finally, there's Bastion that can only kill a Reaper from range, but is very effective on some maps where Reaper can't flank or reach the Bastion. Here's a handy image of what counters Reaper, but one final point on how to stop an enemy Reaper from wrecking your team is to actually use your team. Communicate and focus on the Reaper together to kill him quickly, otherwise he can outheal your teammates in duels, and once he starts getting picks, he'll win the team fight. That's the hardest part about fighting a Reaper, especially at lower ranks, so just try to use voice chat, or at least type to your team to focus the Reaper first in team fights. Moving on, let's go over Tracer, who is a quicker and weaker flanker than Reaper, but is just as annoying, if not more. Tracer was out of the meta for about a year now, after her pulse bomb damage was decreased from 400 to 300, so she couldn't blow up tanks anymore, and Brigida was introduced into the game, which had a one-shot kill combo against Tracer, and started the GOATS meta. With the armor nerf patch and nerfs to D.Va and Brigida, Tracer has more room to wreak havoc. She has a 28% damage increase to armor point headshots only, but on tanks it's easier to hit headshots, so you can almost one-clip their armor if you have the aim. D.Va has the defense matrix nerf, which basically allows Tracer to get off one full clip burst into her head while D.Va's matrix is on cooldown. This means D.Va will lose her armor very quickly and be bursted down by Tracer in a 1v1 duel. Brigida used to be able to one-shot a Tracer with the Mace, Bash, and Whipshot combo, but Shield Bash now does only 5 damage, so Tracer can get away. This doesn't mean Tracer counters Brigida, as you can still call out when you stun the Tracer so your team can focus her before she recalls. The one big thing that allows Tracer to come back is the fall of the Goats meta. Since Triple Tank Triple Support is dying, this means there are more openings for Tracer to get in and harass a team. She's always been good at winning DPS duels or assassinating backlines, but it's been a while, so some people forget it requires counterpicking or peeling as a tank to help your supports. Tracer is super effective at killing healers and even DPS off by themselves, so watch out when she is around. Sticking with your teammates and calling out the Tracer will help shut her down, which is similar to how countering Reaper works now. Tracer's counters are on the screen now. Ranged or crowd control heroes work well against her, so Farah, McCree, Sombra, May, Brigida, and Roadhog are good picks against a Tracer. Torbjorn is good at denying the Tracer space to work with when his turret has line of sight on her, but otherwise he won't help much. Winston is mobile enough to peel for his team, but D.Va is too weak now to help out anymore, so she's not a counter. If you don't run a Brigida on support, you'll need a Lucio to protect the main healer from a Tracer. Stay close to your tanks if you're a healer, and watch out for the Tracer if you're a DPS. She has low health, so just a little focus fire will force her away. So far, I hope it's clear that teamwork and communication is the key for fighting these strong, annoying heroes, which is why they can be so OP at lower ranks. If you want to climb, and DPS is your forte, then these heroes are good choices. Finally, let's address the Bastion in the room. Bastion is always a good test to keep an Overwatch player on their toes. You need to be able to adapt quickly and execute a plan to clear out a Bastion bunker, as he does a lot of damage to teams from range or through a choke. In December, he gained a couple buffs to his ammo in recon mode and a Titan spread when in sentry form. This allows him to be better overall, but really counter tank heroes now. With the armor nerf, Bastion also does 13% more damage during recon mode to armor health points, and he gained a flat 20% increase during sentry mode. 
It won't be long before you play another game against a Bastion, so here's a refresher course on how to counter one. Pop quiz. To stop a Bastion, do you, as a team, dive the hero all at once and focus him until he dies? Well, this is kind of a trick question, because it's yes and no. Yes, as a team, you'll need to attack him at once, but you can't fight him head on. You need range or multiple angles to land crowd control abilities. Heroes like Widowmaker, Hanzo, Farah, Zenyatta, Junkrat, or Soldier 76 have the range to attack a Bastion, but they need to get an angle on him or break the shield that's usually in front of him. Don't forget, Bastion has armor on him too, so if he's exposed, a lot of heroes can do more damage to his armor now. Crowd control like hacking, hooking him, halting him off the payload as Arisa, or walling a Bastion up in the air as May can make it easier to focus fire on him. D.Va is definitely essential when attacking a Bastion as well, because she can block that damage that would normally kill a teammate attacking him, but she alone can't counter a Bastion. Here's a reference image to show Bastion's counters. Doomfist was nerfed, so you can't really stop a Bastion anymore, even when he's on the move in recon mode. Genji has always been a decent counter to Bastion, as he has ranged poke from weird angles, and deflect that can protect teammates and surprise a Bastion with return fire. You must communicate with your team and have a plan of action to counter a Bastion, and the DPS need to change to at least one of these counter heroes, otherwise you'll be shredded before anything happens. Tanks can't do much against a Bastion, so DPS has to step up, but a mobile tank like Winston could distract the Bastion for a little bit, with D.Va backing him up. Or Orisa could try to burn the enemy shield down. Reinhardt can't do much unless he can get close enough to the Bastion to charge him, and Zarya needs to fight up close where she'll be focused down. Roadhog is probably the best just because of the hook. Just announce to your team when to all attack the Bastion, and do it from different angles while working together to help each other out. And that about covers everything for this video. I hope you learned how to more effectively counter a good Reaper, Tracer, or Bastion in your games, and if you did, or if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. What kind of ways of attack do you think works the best against these three? Let me know down in the comments. If you'd like to watch me play Overwatch Live, I stream pretty often, and I'm comfortably on Diamond for all roles now, so it's a fun time. I stream on Twitch, Mixer, and here on YouTube, so follow or click the bell icon to get notified when I go live. Keep an eye out for my next video. As always, I'm your boy, Grasshopper, keep hopping. Get it.